those people who say nothing's happening in Armenia, there's no future in Armenia, well, you're wrong. We have to focus, try to focus on the positives. And there are so many of them here in Armenia, it's not funny. And these are the beautiful parks that we have around Armenia. Maro, Maro is my colleague. <laughs> Maro, <laughs> you're, come back here. Here we can see many, many young people, Armenians and non-Armenians, yes. who are interested in inventions like my son yes. and others. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mitch and today is the 7th of September 2022. A very special week in Armenia uh, this week. Uh, all this week up until I think uh, Sunday night. There is a Starmus festival which I'll tell you about in just a minute. Uh, before I do, I better tell you where I am. I'm at the sports centre uh, and a fountain is working in the background and the conference I'm going to attend is up there. For those people who say nothing's happening in Armenia, there's no future in Armenia, well, you're wrong. Uh, lots of things are happening here. It's a, it's a um, dynamic time in Armenia's history, I believe, uh, for all sorts of reasons. Um, not the least of which um, we, or rather I, attended uh, with my colleagues a, uh, an event uh, last night. Uh, the global launch of uh, Hitchline, uh, a social media application, it's a new social media application. Um, rather than me uh, explain what that is, I'll, I'll put a link in the description of this video. It's an amazing uh, concept uh, from uh, Indian friends, so we're honoured. Uh, our team at NCIE have been working very hard uh, in collaboration with them uh, to help them, assist them uh, in the launch of their product and to uh, do whatever we can to, to help them. So it's been wonderful uh, and uh, they're amazing people. Uh, Hitchline, um, uh, new social media application, please look them up. So here we are at the Sports Centre and uh, uh, this is part of uh, the Starmus Festival tonight. There's going to be a conference uh, and the theme is uh, 50 years uh, life, 50 years on Mars. Now, Starmus is a global festival of science, communication and art that brings together the most brilliant minds on the planet. And let me tell you, a lot of them are here in Armenia uh, this week. Uh, giving uh, conferences, lectures, um, uh, musical performances all over Armenia. The aim of Stamos is to inspire and educate the next generation of explorers and regenerate the spirit of discovery. Got some merchandise here. Now I've got to find some of my colleagues. A little early, but uh, good to get here early because uh, Armenian time usually always runs half an hour late at least. These are exciting times for Armenia and uh, I think we should be proud of what we have achieved and are achieving uh, despite all of the difficulties that we faced over the last couple of years. We have to focus, try to focus on the positives and there are so many of them here in Armenia, it's not funny. People are opening businesses here, which I mentioned, uh, Hitchline uh, social media application was one of them. There are many, many similar stories, both small and large uh, organisations, so we should be proud and get behind our country instead of always knocking it. Hey everyone, Let's this is my this is my dear dear friend and brother. I think uh, maybe you know some of you know what that means. 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Maro is my, Maro is my colleague. <laughs> Maro, <laughs> you're come back here. And, and one of our main attractions here would be this drone. It's manufactured in uh, Armenia. It's called Uratu Systems. I think Uratu Aero. So everyone, as I mentioned, this is our uh, director of the National Centre for Innovation and Entrepreneurship, Hayek Margarian. It's a pleasure. Hello, everyone. And uh, Hayek's going to give us a little bit of a tour of our booth. As you see, many, many people are here at our booth. It's very good. Because we have some things, some real things to show, uh -huh. which are produced in Armenia. Yes. Some of which are mass production, some of which are just engineering phase. Uh, let's say this is the charger of electric vehicles, which is uh, produced and engineered in, in Armenia. Mm -hmm. This one here. It's called Ivan. It's called yep. Ivan. So we've got Mr. Margarian Sr. And Mr. Magarian Jr., this is Soren or Surenchik, yes, yeah, Surenchik. Uh huh. It's Hayek's uh, son. And we're going to go over and have another little look. Here we can see many, many young people, Armenians and non Armenians, yes. who are interested in inventions like my son yes. and others. Uh, our young generation has big potential, and we want to show them what interesting scientific and engineering inventions we have. Absolutely. We've already seen the charging station. Yes, yeah, so this so is the charging station that was a completely built in uh, engineering city, Armenia. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have some other interesting things like okay. drone. Right. Uh, that then, uh, this is a, this is completely manufactured in, yes, in it is manufactured uh, Armenia. here in Armenia. And it can lift up to 60 kilograms of uh, oh, wow. different weight. Amazing. Also, we have some interesting things from Nano Center of Armenia, uh -huh. like Nano particles, ah, Nano Center, and okay. Nano discs. Mm -hmm. And uh, you won't believe, one of the most sensitive seismic sensors in the world wow. are produced in Armenia. That's so amazing. This is also our invention. So, except this, other institutes are also included here. Dear guests, if you're yeah. in Armenia, please come here to this. Okay, Hayek, what, uh, what company do we have here? Uh, this is one of our representatives here in our booth. Mm -hmm. uh, our good colleagues, can you please uh, represent yourself? Sure. We are representing uh, Orbelli Institute of Physiology mm -hmm. and several projects that are uh, in the ecosystem of this institute. Uh, first of all, uh, this is Holding, which is a 3D bioprinting uh, company, uh, 3D bioprinting startup in the ecosystem of Orbelli Institute. We are developing special types of 3D printers, also known as 3D bioprinters, mm -hmm. which can uh, 3D print we, uh, and create living and viable tissues using special uh, biological uh, biocompatible material uh -huh. and living cells. Huh? Wow. Our uh, startup is producing this uh, equipment, which is called 3D uh, bioprinters, as well as the biomaterials, which are known as uh, bio inks. Uh, the compound constructs printed in this way can be utilized in development of novel treatment approaches as well as uh, serve as models, experimental models for testing newly discovered drugs. We're also representing the laboratory of tissue engineering where we are developing other techniques of creation of living tissue in laboratory conditions. Uh, excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. So let me give you a little overview of the stands here that are in the um, Starmus Science Camp. And as you can see, there's lots and lots of people here now. Lots of young people, which is great. We've got archaeology. Got artificial intelligence. It's uh, robotics for kids. The uh, stand is proving quite popular. Got uh, telescopes. Agrotech electronics. And there's our director being interviewed by one of the media outlets. Nuclear energy. Robotics.
drones and assisted. Hi, hello, Anna Jo. <laughs> this is Hayek's, Hayek's wife here and little Anastasia. Hi, Anastasia. Hello. Yeah, assistive technology. Very interesting. This is helping people with severe disabilities. Uh, buying a can, for example. Some of my colleagues here. Say hello, everybody. 